Alright, thank you so much for tuning back in to another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. We are Offset. Era. Woohoo! We. Alright, and as you've seen in the title, we're bringing back The, the warning. warning. Been a little too long, but we've always been real tight on their uh, new releases. Yeah. It's a new song that they put out called Automatic, Automatic Sun. Sun. Uh, it looks like it says studio version, so I think it's probably a lot of chopped up footage for a, a live venue mixed in with the From original Tech recording. From Pal Norte Festival. If that's a mispronunciation, I apologize. Yeah. Came out nine days ago. Has already hit 381,000 views. Killer. Very cool. We got our shirts. Uh, we got yes, John we again sent some more shirts. Thank you, John. <laughs> uh, we we love the shirts. Even Vince is wearing his all the time. So yep. thank you, thank you, thank you for sending those. We appreciate that. In, Vince is here in spirit. He always is. <laughs> all right. Well, let's just jig into the comments like we always do. Let's see what we got here. Oh, cool. They're going to be in Camden, New Jersey, September 21st. All right. It's, it's not be... far from where I'm from. All right. Awesome. And then they're going to jump over to the United Kingdom after that, apparently. That's 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 oh, old ones. Okay. They're up and coming ones. Okay. Got it. All right. Well, what do we got here? Just when you think rock has done all it can, these women knock it out. Yeah. Yes, they do. How is beating those drums like, like they, they owe her money? money. <laughs> seen that. Unfortunately, that's a comment I've seen a lot of places. It's super, super generic. Come up with new stuff, guys. It's still, it's still not inaccurate. No, she does it's, beat it's, the crap out of her drums. Yes, <laughs> I get that. I love drummers that beat the crap out of their drums. Well, yeah, usually the best ones do. Yeah. Uh, ladies, WTF? Bangers after bangers. Are you, Are you trying, trying to, to kill, kill me? me? <laughs> We love, we the, love the warning and the song, but also kudos to everyone involved in making and producing this video. Awesome. So well done. Nice. I'm addicted to this band, and it's hard to give it up. Yep. You don't have to. The song has something for everyone, no matter who is it, who is listening to it. A rocker, metalhead, or pop listener, it's so fantastic that if radio stations start doing their job, it would be in the top ten chart. I would love like seeing it live at the Grammys just to see all the melting faces in the, the crowd. crowd i've been i've seen several video live videos of the european tour and the vibe everyone gets is a joy to watch yes i get it actually speaking of radio stations when i was it was a couple weeks ago when i was driving over here to the mm -hmm. do it to do them to do the reactions yeah. i heard sick on yep. 103 on the radio three. yeah it's we get kind of we get kind of excited because we you know we generally don't listen to the radio so when we do see stuff that you know we when i do listen to the radio i'm, I'm usually flipping yeah. through channels and i end up on like some kind of like r&b station or like dance stuff like mm -hmm. i listen to you know i have like a, a shuffle of um radio stations that mm -hmm. i flip through the number one best thing about the warning they don't know the meaning of a bad song it's like every song straight, straight off up. of a greatest hits album <laughs> it's unreal how unreal. good they truly are I'm supposed to be sleeping, <laughs> yet here I am watching this video for the 200th time. <laughs> I'm supposed to be sleeping. <laughs> yeah, I feel I I know that feeling. I'm supposed to be sleeping, but I'm doing something else. Yes. These young women have worked their backside off, and it freaking shows. All right, all right. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump into this one. And for anyone jumping in with us for the very first time, welcome to the channel. Welcome, indeed. Lots and lots of warning on our channel. Oh uh, yes. Queen of the Murdercy reaction series. Uh, we did the other album. We did a lot 21st of the Dakota Bar, Twenty First Century Blood. Yeah. So and then and then just random. So I think we have three different playlists of. I one. think so. So go and check them out. I don't know how that. Fans. I don't know how that. I mean, yeah. We didn't plan on no getting such an extensive playlist made of our warn of the warning reactions, but it just happened that way. And here we and are. And we just love that the the support from everyone in the warning. Yeah, uh, they're fan. Their fans are awesome. Yes. You guys are really cool. We really appreciate it. And we, we know that even though we're not nearly in the same vein as The Warning, you guys still embrace our own original music, which is awesome. You guys um, are incredibly receptive and yeah. incredibly positive, and we so really we love appreciate it. that. So if you guys are curious, we will have our music popping up at the end of the videos. Uh, but anyway, if you're not new to the channel... You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time for... The Glorious... The Epic... Trans... <laughs> all right here we are in this wonderful crowd and we're gonna check out a brand new make song make sure your space bar is working it's it's working it's working all right here we go all right the warning automatic sun studio version let's hear it Una canción que no ha salido todavía. 
Ellie. <laughs> Notice in the last few that she's been really fuzzing it up, like yeah. really, really fuzzing it. That's kind of like that. Kind of makes me think of the muse of the yeah. muse, not yeah. the muse. Muse. Yeah. Yeah. We got yelled at for that too. Yeah. <laughs> the muse. It's muse. Okay. Whatever. All right. Sorry. There are all oh, muse for us. So it's just spi- it's just muse. Spider-Man. Okay. There's no <laughs> the. <laughs> So muffed. Oh, I think Allie's oh. using a pick. Yes, she is. Yeah. You don't see that very often. Yeah. I think she does both. Love that technique oh. where they're hit, where they're hitting between the the uh, the tuning pegs and then the nut on the board where you don't normally would strum. Yeah, it's really interesting because right there, you, depending on the guitar you have, it can be totally different notes that are produced there because all guitars are slightly different. Mm-hmm. So when you strum that, it may not be the same note as, as another guitar. So you never know when you're gonna hit that exactly what pitch is gonna come out. Playing a Fender, which is also interesting. Oh, it's a Strat. It's a Strat. It's so fuzzed. That's a PRS issue in there. Love the stop. The tone, the tone options here. Not every, not even, not only is the distortion really happening heavily on the guitar, but it's also happening on the bass as well. Yes. Um, I, a few of you have commented I lo- on. I like, I like, I really dig simple breakdowns where it's just, you know, yeah, just a bass. Where it's just the bass, you know, not even doing any, not even just, not even doing a bunch of shredding right. on the neck. Just, you know, just, just simple locking. boom, boom, boom. Yeah. You know, with that one kick drum. You know, like sometimes that's all you need. Don't we do that on a song? Um, I forget which one you do that with. Where uh, well, I'm playing something kind of faster, and you're just kind of thudding along. I don't remember. So I, I want to say move on, but that's not quite the same as this. Yeah, um, like, that, that's that's me doing it at a, at a different tempo for right. the sake of you know the spacing in the, in right. the song. Like, like if I'm doing the thrashy parts with you, yeah. Like on the recording, it would sound like too much. Yeah. Uh, some of you have commented about not being so super happy about the way the production is, and I get that, you know, a, cer- a certain to a certain extent. But I also know that as you are a band and as you are trying to evolve your sound, there's going to be some things that you're going to want to change or have something to be more distinctive. So we are seeing, a, a hearing a lot more of this more fuzzier type of sound, but it's not bad in my opinion. I no, I really, nice I really dig it. I think it really has like its own identity and makes these songs sound different, you know. And I think that's as a as a musician, you don't want all your songs to sound the same. You yeah, because then, then it, it it becomes dimensional and right. honestly kind of boring. Yeah, you want you know, like some if, diversity. It, exactly, you need dynamics and diversity, and yeah. the warning has that. Oh, absolutely. Look what you're doing to me. Ah, Phil. Not to think about it too much The way the weight of everything 
I love that fish eye lens on that. It's eclipsing. Don't look at it. Too late I did. I'm blind. <laughs> That's an incredible shot. I'd be interested in how they did that. Yeah. It's a, I don't know if that's like a 360 camera, but then they also kind of inlaid a sun on the inside. So I I know it's two pieces of footage, but the this is this is captured live, so that's gotta be some kind of camera or a lens or something. Love the halftime. Oh, they end that way. Oh, it's like a it's like a drone, I guess. Oh, look how pitched it is. So it's like an aerial drone or something. That's cool. All right, let's go ahead and flip back over. All right. That was The Warning with Automatic Sun. Another banger from The Warning. That was really cool. Yeah, very rocking. Man, I really did like the... I dug the uh, the breakdown, especially at the beginning, at the end there, how they ended the song, too. But yeah, great. another great song with some, some really heavy elements, a lot of fuzz. Really fuzz-driven, some, really, some overdrive in there yeah. with the tones. Tones of the bass, guitar. I really dug that that breakdown where it was just Pal doing the kick and Allie just doing that one note, just yep. just doing just doing the root notes like that, locking in with the kick. You know, mm -hmm. I I mean, you know, we are. I mean, it's it it's clear that you know she's perfectly capable of you know doing like a you know incredible things all over the neck, but right. just you know just locking in like that, like mm -hmm. that's just like a such a cool thing, and and that's definitely like like a crowd engaging moment yeah. where you get them to clap and and yeah. you know in sync with it or to get them to, or to get them to chant to mm -hmm. chanting, and that's what I'm trying to do with with some of our new songs, get right. people to you know you know show their hand, you get their hands up and right. you know hyping them up like that, and yeah, it kind of worked at the opera house. It did. Yeah, all right. Well, that was our reaction to the warning. Automatic Sun. We loved it. Lots of great tones, great song, great feel. A lot of cool uh, drum parts and stuff in it. Yeah. And then lots of cool little dynamics throughout the song. Stuff you would all expect from the warning at this point, right? We all right? love from the warning. We love it so much. Uh, make sure you guys keep us abreast of what else is coming out from them, uh, especially any new releases. You know we'll jump on them in a hot minute. So, uh, again... Thank you guys again for just being awesome. Uh, and again, if you guys see something coming out or know something, you know what to do. Comment. You guys hit us up on the the community chat on our on our channel there under the uh, the last suggestion thread. Hopefully, when they come when they uh, when they do their next round of two of shows in the states, we'll be the ones to open for. Yeah, it'd be cool if you guys want to see us be, like go to a show and like maybe be, film that with you. That it would be done. it would be an honor. Yeah, it would be a thrill. It would be an honor. It would be something. Something I would never, you know, want to forget or take for granted. Yeah. Everybody watching at home, make it happen. <laughs> but in the meantime, we, we are, are Offset era. era. We are two thirds of Offset Era, mm -hmm. based out of sunny Southwest Florida. We are a fun-loving punk core act. If you're curious as to what punk core entails, we have an extensive playlist of all of our original music, as well as it being available on all digital streaming platforms. That's right. And we have a brand new EP out called Top Shelf Villain. It's yeah. been out for about three weeks and it's yeah. doing very well. Yeah. Awesome. Six new songs released everywhere you can stream music, Spotify, iTunes, everywhere. And on our Patreon. On our Patreon, for sure. Um, also, we have uh, our previous EP, A New yeah. Era, which came yeah. out last year, is available for download on our Patreon. Yep. Yeah. And by the way, we have a Patreon. We have a Patreon. If you guys want to support the channel in any way, feel free to subscribe or unsubscribe as you need to. It's $5. You get all the uh, 
different blocked videos that we have sometimes to have to edit yep. to get to go on to our channel none of the beat none of the bleeps none of the blurs none of the yep. black bars yeah so make sure you check out that and feel free to unsubscribe if you want to give us five bucks and then that's good i'm happy with that i'm not going to get upset with you so do what you guys want to do it's a good place to also submit your suggestions we yep. take our patreon suggestions with a higher priority so if you do have a if you are a paid patreon member if you have a suggestion that you think is really cool send yep. it our way and we'll check it out for, for you sure. we'll, give you a, we'll give you a shout out in the video yeah and make sure we actually listen to stuff that may not do so super well on the channel but if it's something or something our patreons want us to do then we definitely we'll do it yep uh with that we have one show currently on the books but on the horizon we're yeah. going to be at ollie's pub records and beer friday april 26th yep it's going to be our last show at ollie's it's their final event yep. it's going to be a two-day event yep um so if you guys it's going to be it's going to be big yeah. it's going to be a big blowout event if you haven't made out to any of our shows and you're local, come on out, please. We'd love to see you. If not for us, then for Ollie's. For, Ollie's. And for everything that Ollie's Pub Records and Beer has done for you know our music community, for the local scene. Yeah. You know how bands are given an opportunity to you know work on their craft, build themselves up. Yeah, we have quite it's the a, community here when it comes to music. It's it's uh it's it, insane. it's, it's tight knit. It, we're not really a map city compared in you know comparison to like Tampa or Orlando or Fort Lauderdale or Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. But our scene here is you know very tight-knit like i said yeah enormously dedicated uh with that being said we do have more shows coming up there's a couple other venues that we do play shows locally so as more shows come of course we will mention them in our videos absolutely but if you want to be more uh, connected with us feel free to follow us on instagram and on facebook yep. along with and here. of course on youtube yeah so if, uh, no matter where you are as long as you're engaging with us we'll be making sure that we fill you in on any upcoming events shows and song releases uh, go check out our new music video. We just put out one called Top Shelf Villain. We've got a couple live videos that we just posted. One was for a song called Still Inside, shot on a real stage in a real opera house. Make sure you go check that out and some other little fun videos that we've posted. Uh, there's a bunch on our channel. There'll be some stuff in the end cards here. Uh, but that's it for this video. Thank you for the likes, commenting, and subscribing. Let us know what you want to see in the next one. And we'll see you then. We'll see you there. Peace out.